general booty. More on that in a second. Before we get to the content for today, I want to take a moment to thank you for being here and remind you to hit that like button. It does help us in the algorithm. Scroll down just for a second, folks. Hit that thumbs up. Please, thank you in advance from everybody here from the Hawkeye of the Storm. We got a lot of content coming, not only off-season content, but as we head back into college football and then, of course, college basketball season. We've got so many great special guests and co-hosts, former players, former coaches. It's all a good time here from the Hawkeye of the Storm. Also want to thank Under the Kitchen, Randy Engel and his artwork down in Mitchellville. Be sure to check out the artwork over at underthekitchen.square.site. That's underthekitchen.square.site. T E Randy is a big part of what we do. Please support him and show your appreciation for the channel and for his support. So yes, general booty, probably the only time, well, not probably literally the only time you'll ever hear me talk about a booty on the show. And of course, uh, I guess if Iowa ends up landing the kid, you may hear me use that word a time or two more. But the Hawkeyes have reportedly made contact with Oklahoma quarterback General Booty. I should say former Oklahoma quarterback. He is now in the transfer portal. This report coming from Pete Nakos of On3. He's a national On3 recruiting expert. And apparently General Booty let On3 know that I was been in contact. In case you don't know who General Booty is, Yes, that's his real name, General Booty. He has not been promoted from Colonel or Major Booty, although that would be somewhat humorous. No, General Booty actually had a really impressive JUCO career and transferred to Oklahoma back in 2022. So he's been there basically two years, threw for over 3,100 yards uh, at the JUCO ranks in the NJCAA and had 25 touchdowns through the air, ranked second in all of the country with that number. He is from Allen, Texas, comes from a family that's very athletic. I mean, you're talking uncles, his father, like all these people played college football and a lot of them played football at a really high level. We're talking about the LSUs and the USC's of the world. So the kid comes from very good bloodlines. And I know I talked about Brendan Sullivan on, what was that, Sunday? I made the comment that he was in Iowa City over the weekend. And I've had some people reach out to me. Hey, it's being reported that Brendan Sullivan hasn't gotten there yet. He's going to be there later this week. I saw a couple outlets report that he is taking a visit to Iowa later on this week. According to my source, that is an official visit. He was already in Iowa City over the weekend. Believe what you want. It doesn't really matter. He's going to be there again. And uh, hopefully Iowa can get a commitment out of him. But if not, they've got a backup option in general booty. Now, are they going to offer the kid? Who knows? So far, General Booty has had a number of FBS, albeit non-Power 4 interest slash offers out there, according to some reports. Iowa, the only Power 4 interest that I'm aware of. Now, Iowa is likely trying to keep some of this under wraps. There hasn't been a ton out in the open about these visits. That's one of the reasons I'm guessing why we haven't heard more about Brendan Sullivan being in Iowa City until today. And again, the report is now that he is taking perhaps an official visit this week, but I was told he was there over the weekend. And I think Iowa would like to probably keep some of this under wraps, especially when you're talking about quarterback position. I don't think they want this to be anybody in everybody's business. That's my hypothesis. That's my hunch. I don't know that for certain. I'm just going based off what my source told me and then some reports that are out there. I've not personally spoke with General Booty or Brandon Sullivan, but both those guys on the short list for Iowa quarterback and the list is short in general because there's not many guys out there to be recruited as it relates to the transfer portal. Very thin quarterback group during this post spring window, which is officially closed. Players that are already in the portal can still be recruited. Now, if you compare the two kids on tape, I mentioned, I think over the weekend with Brandon Sullivan, he is mobile, really good legs. I watch him and I think maybe like a CJ Beathard type. He throws a really nice, clean spiral, a really nice-looking ball, and, again, can make plays with his legs, can throw inside, outside the pocket. General Booty's somewhat similar, very good athleticism. I think he's maybe got a little bit of an extra gear. Here's my player comp for General Booty if you want one. How about Sean Clifford? Not saying he's going to turn into a productive guy like Sean Clifford at this level. Sean Clifford was a really productive Big Ten quarterback during his career at Penn State. 
but about 6'2", 6'3", in that range, but still really good legs and can make, appears to be able to make all the throws. Again, put up really good numbers at the high school ranks and then at the JUCO ranks. Has not broken through at Oklahoma, appeared in a couple of games. If you look at his Oklahoma bio, here's what the OU bio has to say about General Booty. He spent his lone junior college season at Tyler, Texas Junior College and uh, started in 12 games, led the team to a 7-5 and five record. And uh, pace the NJCAA in completions, attempts, and passing yards. So obviously a very pass-heavy offense there in Texas. Threw for just under 290 yards per game. Rushed 70 times for 250 yards and a pair of touchdowns. He was a three-star recruit, uh, according to 247, out of Allen, Texas. Threw for 2,235 yards and 26 touchdowns in 2020. Actually played at several different high schools and that might be a little bit of a red flag if you're Iowa, although, you know, years later, does it really matter? He's hopped around a lot, I guess is my point. And he's majoring in communication, not generaling, but majoring in communication. So we'll see if this comes, if, if anything comes of this. I don't know General Booty. And uh, do I like saying the name? I, I, I've never been in a situation where I've had to say that type of a name description for someone so it's a it's new territory for me so if you see a little bit of uncomfortability if that's a word you you know why but anyways we'll keep everybody posted on the quarterback search again brendan sullivan's in the mix maybe general booty my guess is that sullivan would be the front runner assuming iowa offers him but we shall see and they may already have offered him and this official visit is just kind of a, a formality again if he was in over the weekend kind of off the books uh for an unofficial that's certainly possible, but uh, he was at Northwestern this past year and just entered the portal here a couple of weeks ago. So he could have ran over from Chicago and been in Iowa City in a couple hours over the weekend and then be back, uh, sounds like, on Tuesday. So anyways, we'll follow the storyline, folks. Appreciate you being here and for relying on our show and this platform for the latest Hawkeye news and information. We'll talk to you next time.